Let's get right to it on this worksheet. Triangle ABC congruent to triangle RST. Using the side, side, side method, I've got three given segments. I got them here, but I also have them right here on the given triangle ABC. So as we can see, ABC, the AB must be congruent to RS, the first two letters. RS is my given segment, so it's going to match, we'll call them the red ones. Then the next segment, BC congruent to ST, the short segments, which I'll call the green ones. So that tells me the green segment is going to be attached to the S. Then CA must be congruent to TR, which of course means the blue segment's attached there. So let's get to swinging that compass. I'm going to take, I think I'll start here with the um, putting the needle of my compass right here. Now I can use these, I could use these measures right here, or I could use the green segment on this triangle. But for now, I'm just going to use this right here. And I know then that what I've got, swing this, and that tells me that my compass is set. I'm going to get a dynamic swing, make sure it's going through that point. So now I'm going to move this over move this over here and let's just swing an arc. We're swinging the arc where we anticipate that the, well, I guess that the intersections are going to be. Now it could be on either side. So this one I'm going to show you on both sides. Okay, well, let's, let's move on from that. Now that's the green segment. Now we said that the blue segment must be attached here. So I'm going to measure out the blue segment. I'm going to do the same thing. Pull out a compass. I'm going to set my compass, move the pencil until it's out the length of the blue segment. Okay, then we can well, then we can give it a little bit of a swing. Make sure that it's lining up there. That looks good. Now let's pull the compass out here, and I'll just place it down over there, put the needle right there, and I'm going to swing this compass, and I have an intersection. But if I swing it some more, I've got another intersection. So I can see that. That works out pretty good. That means I'm just going to take a couple points. I'm going to put a point here, and then I'm going to put a point here. Time to pull out my straighty, or trust, trait, my trusty straight edge. And, well, I'm going to cheat here because I can. And I'm going to use my straight edge to draw that segment. Or if you put the triangle on this side, you would draw it over here with your straight edge. Then you'll pick up your straight edge and you're going to draw this segment in. Or if you put the triangle on the other side, you draw this segment in. Either case, you've constructed the triangle, whether you put the T over here, and this would be your triangle, right here, or you could have done its reflection, and this would have been a legitimate construction right there. Okay, another triangle. ABC congruent to MQJ. The AB and the MQ are clearly a match, so we've got to figure out the rest of it. The next two pieces, the BC must correspond to the QJ, so I'm guessing there, or I guess I'm knowing there, that the short segment or green segment goes to the Q, and of course CA congruent to JM, the blue or medium segment goes there. So here we go. Put the needle on one point, spread your compass so it lines up right, and give it a good old dynamic swing like this. Whee! Oh, that's so good. So we know that's going to work out all right. And then I'm going to take my compass that I've got it set there, and I'm going to attach it again, as I said, to the Q. So we're going to swing an arc, and that arc is going to look like that. So far, that's so far so good. That's all right. So now let's let's uh, move our compass, 
and I'm going to move back over here. And I'm going to, well, again, I'm going to set this to capture that blue length. And I'll give it a little bit of a dynamic swing. Yep, that's all right. And I know that's that's going to be all that's going to be fine. I'm going to take that blue compass, or I'll take my compass, and I'm going to move it on over here. Set the needle onto the M, and I'm going to give the, the old compass swing right there. And you can see that we produced an intersection, as you'd expect. So we'll put our point right there. And we'll call that point J. So MQJ is going to be congruent to ABC. Take your straight edge and we'll use our cheater straight edge here. And we're going to draw the segment right there. That's your segment QJ. And then we'll draw the medium segment. We'll draw that segment which is JM. And we'll draw it like that. And there goes your construction. You've got another pair of congruent triangles. Well, here we go, a little bit more exciting. ABC congruent to XYZ. But this time, I'm given this segment. I'm given the XZ, which corresponds, of course, to the CA. So now I've got to figure out, well, what segments are going where. ABC, AB matches XY. So the red or long segment goes here. And of course, BC congruent to YZ. So the green or short segment goes there. Right, let's get to it. I'll start by taking my, well, you know, I'm going to work right here, right off the drawing. We can do, we can put our compass either here or on this mark. And I'm going to extend my compass oops, so I can capture that red length right there. And I know that if I, well, I'll just swing it. Oh, come on, compass. Swing that compass, get a dynamic measurement there. Okay. And now I'll just, I know that that's going to attach over here to the X. So I'll put that on the X as good as I can. And I'm going to trace an arc. And I'm looking for the arc over here. After all, the green is a short segment. This is where I expect that it's going to end up. So let's go with that. Then I'm going to take my compass again and I'm going to pull it over here. And I'm going to reset it. No, oh, that's too easy. Reset it so it lines up with the green segment. And see what we can do here. Swing the arc through. Make sure we've got a good read on it. And of course, I'm going to take the needle and put the needle over here on the Z. Ah, looks like we pretty much nailed it there. Swing an arc. And that's going to give us a clear intersection. That intersection is going to be the intersection Y. So we'll put a point there as best as we can draw. Then we're going to take our straight edge. And I'm going to line it up here and draw it from there to there. That's nice. Then I'm going to take my straight edge here. Line it up to represent the long distance, which I'll call the red one. So there you go. You've got triangle ABC, and it's congruent to triangle XYZ. Well, here's another one at the bottom of the page, a little tricky. I've got ABC congruent to UVW. I'm given VW, the short side, or what we like to color here is the green side. So that's this side right here. And I've got to figure out what pieces go where. Again, AB congruent to UV, the first two letters in each triangle. So UV, the red side is going to be attached here, the long side. The medium or blue side, CA is congruent to, what does it say there, V or WU. So that blue is attached there. Let's see how this one works out. And again, I'm going to start with the long side just for fun. And I'll take my... I'm going to take this my compass and set it. I'm going to set it right to the triangle itself. And take that and 
swing it around there. So yeah, that looks pretty good. And let's see what I can do there. Well, hang on a second. I need to move this so, I can, so it'll fit on the page. And then I'm going to take this needle and where did I say it goes? Yeah, it goes, I think, onto the V. Okay. So I'm going to swing an arc. Oh, that one's just about off the page there. So I hope this we can find an intersection. I'd expect it to be somewhere around here. Okay. Now I'm going to pick up the needle of my compass again, and I need to mark out the blue segment or the medium segment. So I'm going to set it here, drag it out like this, and let's see. Let me see if I got this. Oh yeah, I think it's going to go something like that. So I'll pick this up and put the needle down there on the W. And I'm going to trace my arc. And sure enough, we do come up with an intersection. And we're going to put that intersection over here. I'm going to take my straight edge and I need to draw the, well, what we call the medium or the blue segment there. And I'm going to make my long segment over here. And that looks pretty good. And just make sure you remember that you've got to label this point. And that point, I forgot to do it, set it up earlier. We're just going to call that point U. So I'll call that U. And it goes right down there. So there you go, you've got triangle UVW congruent to triangle ABC.